guys, this is Tina from Shabby Debbie Doodah. Welcome back to my channel. So we are here for episode four of our um, little mini series that we've been running for the in between Christmas and New Year period. Um, and we have been doing six days of working with a length of lace. So what can we do with a piece of lace or a length of lace um, in that six days? So hopefully using the piece of lace up. Now I have to say, in my case now, it's turned into hopefully having enough lace left for the um, for the full six days because I've actually used it miles quicker than I'd expected. So what I thought we could do today is make some little um, like window kind of pockets using our lace. So almost like the, um, you know, the specimen slides or... I think we did a journal card kind of pocket um, arrangement, I think using the Lewis Carroll books. Um, and I thought we could use the lace in place of either acetate or, you know, images and things like that. Um, again, we're going to do some various sizes. So we're going to kind of have a play around and, yeah, kind of mix them up and do varying sizes. So I've got here some collage masterboard and I've got two, you know, two pieces of collage masterboards here that I thought would just work quite nicely for this project. Um, this one, as you can see, I've obviously used it for something else in the past, so it's already been, you know, cut already. Um, but yeah, that's fine. It's not going to kind of cause a problem. So I'm going to just go with the natural um, cutting place, if you see what I mean. So where I've used it before, I'm just going to cut along there as my initial, you know, um, breaking up of this I suppose so let's just move this out of the way now this one obviously is too wide now to use on a page so I can either cut it in here so as it could be you know landscape or we could have it this way around and it would just be a portrait a portrait piece um you know which is fine by me I don't mind having it um portrait that's you know that's fine too so just snipped off that edge piece now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my big square punch um, to make my little window, um, you know, section. And again, this, you know, we've done this before in other videos for other, you know, other purposes. So all I'm going to do is take it first of all and place it down here. Now, I'm going to just put it in here with a little bit poking out. Now, I can't really tell how much is poking out. There probably is a really clever way that you can do this, but... That's fine. I'm just going to then go in and punch that, punch that out. Okay, so that's my hole there. And I'm going to go along and I'm going to just make another one. So, and I've talked about this before. If you've got a square punch, this one is a three inch square punch. So this is a really great, great way to make your windows for things like specimen slides and things like that. If you're wanting a larger, you know, larger piece. You can obviously, you know, line your piece up against the edge here. And then if you move it along, you should get more or less the same place, if you see what I mean. So by taking that, I've now just got this really nice rectangle in there. Okay, and then all we're going to do, we're going to take our lace and we're just going to pop it down where you would like a specimen slide. So it's a variation on a kind of specimen slide idea, I suppose. So just deciding, do I want to cut this down? Because obviously we've got a bigger sort of side piece here. You could either cut it down or you could go in again with your rectangle and, you know, open that up a little bit. So if I go in here, that should give me the same size border as I've got this side, if that makes sense. So on this side, it was pressed right up, you know, butted up against here. If I turn it round and have it butted up against there, it should be the same size frame, you know, on either side. So I'll just do that. And again, what you want to do is line your square up with this square on that side. Okay, so in there. And then here again, line it up with that bottom line. And then again, with that square edge, on there okay and that will give you then your nice big rectangular window so I mean that's just kind of a way that you know I like to do it because 
I'm really lazy and I can't be bothered to get my big shot out. And to be honest, I don't think I've even got, um, you know, a rectangular um, die or anything like that would actually, you know, that would actually work for this. So that's just a kind of nice, quick and easy way of getting your rectangles. Now, I'm just placing that over. Obviously, again, I'm trying to be a bit frugal with my lace now because, of course, I've now discovered I'm not going to quite have enough if I'm not careful to actually complete the series. So I'm just going to snip this down here. Oops. But hopefully I've got enough to just about go, whoops, go into that window like that. Okay. So all I'm going to do is go round the edge with my fabric tack. So like that. I'm just going to put my glasses on for this bit because, um, yeah, I will hopefully make a better job with my glasses on than not. So, yeah. Okay. Like that. And then we just put our lace piece down onto there like that. And then obviously you want to kind of pull it taut. You know, you don't want it like a baggy, you know, baggy piece of lace. You want it quite you know, quite tight really. So like that, okay. And then just take my wipe, press that down into the glue, like that, oops. Like that. Okay, so when you turn that over, how gorgeous does that look? It's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I just love that, to be honest. You know, don't feel like it even needs anything else. It just looks absolutely gorgeous how it is. But of course, you could then decorate that up with things. But I'm going to just make a few base pieces like this first. And then we'll, you know, we'll decorate up and have a look at some ideas of, you know, um, yeah, embellishing these kinds of windows. So I'm just going to bring in this piece now. And I'm going to cut it down roughly in the middle. So again, not kind of, you know, not getting too stressed. If it's not quite in the middle, that's fine. If it is, great. You know, not going to kind of worry about it too much. So these ones, obviously, I could have as a landscape or a portrait, um, you know, piece, really, depending, because they obviously would fit, you know, landscape on the page. So just going to take my, uh, my square and make my rectangle window. So again, putting that in. Now, I might go on this side. And do one here, I think, like that. Oops. And then move that along. Now, how much did I have on there? Let me just see. So, yeah, I mean, there perhaps is some sort of clever guide that I've not noticed on these punches. And, you know, if you do know, <laughs> please let me know because I'm pretty rubbish at spotting things like this or realising, you know, what things are for. I've said before about the, um, you know, the twist-up lipstick pencil thing that I was then trying to sharpen you know it didn't even occur to me that it was on a you know a wind up mechanism so yeah there could well be something that's a you know a you know mechanism but yeah I obviously have not spotted it so again we've got our window here and then what we can do is turn it around again just so as we have like an equal sort of frame either side so that one oops and then, oops, in this one. Okay. So that's that one. Get rid of those bits. And then this one, I have to say, I'm kind of like wanting to hoard this because this looks really, really nice. Now I've cut this down. I don't really want to use it. This was that um, collage masterboard that we did, I think perhaps earlier this year, where we glossy accented over the bits. It just looks really pretty. So I'm just going to put that to one side. Um, let's see what lace that we want. We've got obviously a couple of pieces left from the lace that we dyed. Oh, that looks quite pretty, doesn't it? I wish I had some more from the um, walnut stain, actually, because I think that would have gone really nicely on here. But unfortunately, I haven't got any of that left now. Um, let's have a look at this one. Oh, I don't know. Yes, you can guess, can't you? I'm now trying to hoard this little piece here. I mean, what on earth is wrong with me? Oh, dear. I don't know why, why I do things like that, but yep. I just find myself not wanting to use things then 
Right, so I am going to be good. I am going to use it. So let's just go in and cut that down. So about here. I've got a little slither now that I can just hoard. No, that we might use for something else. Who knows? I haven't decided what's going to be going on with the other two episodes yet. So I need to rack my brains for something else yet. So, um, yeah. So that's that one. And again, just going to glue around the edge of that frame. And to be honest, the good thing is with using the lace is, you know, if you don't have that much left, when you glue it on, you can always kind of pull it a little bit tight and, you know, stretch it out a bit and it might go a little bit further. So I'm not at the stage of having to do that yet, but, you know, <laughs> it is a possibility that we will come to that stage. So, oh dear. There we go. So press that down. Like that. Okay. Like that. Yep. Turn that one over. I mean, how gorgeous does that look? That lace just looks so beautiful in there, doesn't it? Oh, I love how that looks. It's really, really pretty. Honestly, like like all these things, I'm now not only going to want to hoard the lace, I'm now going to want to hoard the pockets. I mean, oh. Right, okay, so I've got this one now. Um, oh, with these lovely metallic-y um, kinds of shades on here as well. So I'm going to just cut this, I think, in half-ish. I want to cut it in half. Mm. Yeah, I think kind of about here. Just trying to decide how I'm going to use this. This is on, um, oh, it is on A4. Sorry, it looked bigger than A4. Oh, that's fine then. So, yeah, I'm going to just cut that down here. I thought this has pre had perhaps been done on a, um, you know, one of those coffee table books because it looked larger than A4 for a minute. Uh, right, okay, so I'm going to then just cut this roughly in half as well. Again, you know, obviously not measuring, not being kind of too precise, but just, you know, judging by eye roughly. Okay. I don't know why I've got a jaggedy edge there on an A4 sheet of paper, but obviously some shoddy cutting had already taken place earlier on. Okay, right. So we're going to cut this down like that. Now, obviously, if I wanted to use this on a page landscape, I probably need to take it down just fractionally on one side um, just to make sure that it is going to actually kind of go. Now, do I want to use this paper, uh, this paper, this lace, or do I want to use this purple? Oh my goodness, that purple looks awesome on there, doesn't it? Yeah, kind of loving the purple, has to be said. Right, okay, let me just cut this down very slightly on this edge. Okay. Right, okay, so let's now punch our window. And to be honest, you know, you don't even have to have it kind of in the center. You could just have like a window at the top or you could have one at the bottom. You could have one down the side. So perhaps on this one, we could just do one here. That might be quite nice. So let's do like that. Okay. Oops. Like that. And then just very slightly over like that. Oops. I mean, you can tell why I've done this, can't you? Because obviously this is a way to now hoard that um, hoard that pretty lace because I only need a tiny bit now. No, that wasn't why I did it, but hey, that is, that is a little thing worth bearing in mind. So yeah, we could have that purple just in that section. Okay, so again, all I need to do is just cut out around that lace. Oops. Oh my goodness, this is very tricky. This lace is moving as I'm cutting it, so yeah, not brilliant. Okay, and then just cut that down up here. Mm -hmm. Like that, okay. So that's going to be in that little window. So again, just put that bit of glue around that frame I mean it's just to kind of get some different ideas going really so yeah I mean I might not really like this one so much once we've done it but 
I just thought it would be a different, you know, different idea and kind of show some different, different looks. Okay, so, yep, let's pop that lace down there. Again, stretch that lace out so it's not all baggy. Like that, okay. Turn that over. Oh my goodness, how yummy and scrumptious does that look? Super pretty, isn't it? So, yeah, loving how that looks. So we can probably do one more of these and then we'll just decorate one or two up to kind of see, you know, some finishing touches. So that one and yeah, with the other piece that we've cut off, let's do one now with the, you know, the original coloured lace. So yeah, now shall we do, kind of thinking, should we do just a long one down here? Again, not done a very good job of cutting here. So very wonky on the edge. Oh my goodness, got wonkier and wonkier. Right, I don't know what's going on with this, but I've not made a good job, obviously, of cutting this. It looks really lopsided, doesn't it? Okay, right. So let's just go down this side with some of that lace. So again, just pop this in, tuck that up to there. Okay. Now, I am holding on to those little squares that I cut out. I'm not saying every single one, but yeah, I am hanging on to oops, some of them. I've just put this back on here just to check how much I have poking out at the side. Um, I'm not saying I'm hanging on to, you know, I'm not going to hang on to that one, for example, but I have hung on to the, you know, the bigger squares. I don't know what for, but, you know, we might think of something to do with those. So, yeah, just kind of didn't want to get rid of them and then wish I hadn't. So, and again, we'll use just the, um, you know, the original coloured lace there. So, let's just take that down there. Okay. Like that. Okay, right. Put that to one side. Okay. Oh, I think I've cut that too small now. I was trying to be so... Um, you know, frugal with it. So, so I've definitely got on that left for the rest of the series. I've now cut it too small. It's okay. I can stretch it out. As we glue it on, I can stretch it out. But yeah, that's what comes of trying to hang on to it, you know. I'm now at risk of not even having enough now So um, for this bit. So sometimes it's false economy, isn't it, to try and actually stretch things out. You can actually end up, you know, ruining it more so okay right let's put this one down here oh i've got loads um overhanging of that lace haven't i yeah i hadn't realized there was quite so much length you know height wise going to be overhanging of that but that's fine it doesn't matter right so any that you've got overhanging, obviously you can just, you know, either snip it off at a, you know, later stage or we can just obviously glue that down. So I might just snip a little bit off because there does seem like there's a lot there. And obviously, had I realised, I would have then, um, you know, cut it down so that I could use some. But yeah, I haven't noticed, obviously, until now. So, right. Okay. Right, just glue that down like that. Oh, I had the weirdest dream last night, I must just quickly tell you. This is just so odd and random. So I dreamt that I worked for this company that I worked for way back when, when I was like kind of 18. And I was in their stationery cupboard. I mean, hello, talk about living out my fantasy, just wanting to be in with the stationery. I mean, what on earth, who dreams things like that? Honestly, I was there rummaging through the stationery cupboard and it's just like, why would I dream that? Just really odd. Really odd. Now, wondering obviously whether we could use some of these gorgeous little bits that we had obviously made previously. So how pretty does that look? I mean, that just like finishes that pocket off beautifully, doesn't it? So yeah, just doing things like that, you know, are just the most quick and easy way to decorate bits like this up and that's why again you know when we said the other day about making these little bits and pieces you know they're so handy to have on off have on the hand 
that, you know, within two seconds then, you know, that's an entire pocket then ready for your journals, you know, and you've done literally nothing. It's taken, you know, two seconds to pull that together. But it looks gorgeous, doesn't it? Alternatively, obviously, you could finish it off with things like this, you know, however you like. But yeah, just very, very quick and easy. So I'm just going to use this one on here. So let's just take that and we would just pop that one down like that. I haven't actually gone over the window um, and the reason being just because this is the same lace so I didn't want it to merge into the window. So obviously if this had been a contrast in lace I may have put it just overhanging the, uh, the window slightly but I didn't actually want to you know detract from from the window itself. Now obviously here you can see I've just got a little bit of lace overhanging. Again I can just go in you know just really quickly with my hot glue for example just to tidy up any corners or edges and the reason being is just that when you're using this as a pocket if you've got lots of bits that are like that they're just going to possibly you know cause your pieces to catch as you slide them in and out the pocket so you know it might not be so necessary at the bottom because things aren't going to be sliding in and out of there but at the top or you know if you've got it as a side loading pocket or something you might just want to go down and make sure your edges are really kind of glued down nice and flat just because you want ease of access when you're tucking things in and out of there really so how gorgeous does that look it's so pretty isn't it i just love it right so that's that one or let's pull in one of these ones shall we honestly i think these look really pretty kind of as they are they don't even need anything else but yeah we will we will put some other things on but again you know that's another one of those pieces that we made and it just looks scrumptious on there doesn't it you know i'm not saying we des you know necessarily want to use those for every single thing that you know every single one of these but just as an example you know they look really good don't they on there so i'm just having a look around to see what else i've got that i could pull in and use instead or as an alternative um have a quick scoot around the desk oh what have I got here oh I've got some of that lovely um you know the vintage portrait you know the famous paintings pictures oh what am I saying the famous painting snippet roll that we did I think that's a bit big for there to be honest um okay let's have a look and see what else I've got oh, what's on there just having a look beside my desk to see if I've got anything there that I could pull in. Uh, no, not loving any of that. Um, just having a quick look behind my desk to see if I've got anything there. I mean, again, it's just really handy if you can use some, some bits you've already ready made. It just kind of ties it all um or cuts down all the length of time it takes to make these bits, doesn't it? Got these little postage stamp pieces. Oh, how pretty does that look? That's quite cool, isn't it? Again, would never have in a million years thought to do that, but it looks good. I quite like how that looks. Oh, I quite like it on that one, maybe even nicer, or maybe even better. Yeah, I do really love that. So yeah, I might just have that, to be honest. Um, now, do we want it in the middle of that lace, which I do think is lovely, or do we want it to the side? I think maybe to the side is quite nice. Then we could always have a little bit more lace on there somewhere. Uh, that's quite pretty. Oh, we also have got this bit of lace left from, I can't remember, this might be from the original pockets that we made on day one. Um, so, oh, I had more lace than I thought left, look. I wouldn't have panicked. Okay, right, so I'm going to glue this down. Now, I'm going to glue it down kind of all over, so it's actually attached to that lace as well. Um, and that way it's kind of reinforcing the lace as well and helping it stay glued. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put my glue spreader underneath there, so that when I press it, it's you know going to just stick to that card and I can then just peel it off nice and easily so I'm just using my hot glue again just for speed it's quick and easy and you know I know then that it's going to be attached properly and I don't have to worry and then I can just peel off that card okay and then just press it down like that 
Oh my goodness, how pretty does that look? I don't know whether I've got that on very straight actually now I'm saying that. Okay. And I think, yeah, the lace at the top rather than the bottom. So again, just going to use the Fabri-Tac there for putting that lace on. I love the way that those two, you know, two areas of lace now are tying it in. So we've got obviously the lace at the top, which is now coordinating with the window. So we've got the lacy window. Mm. Right, let's just put that down there. Oh, how scrumptious does that look? It's so pretty, isn't it? Right, let's just cut that off. Just cut that down there, and then I'm just going to trim across the top. Again, you don't have to do that. You know, it's it's fine to have it, you know, overlapping a bit. But I'm just going to, um, you know, take it down slightly like that. Okay, so then, oh, shall I hang on to this? I mean, it gets ridiculous, doesn't it, when you're hoarding things like that, but yeah. Obviously, there is a tendency to want to hoard things <laughs> like that, which that's not normal behaviour, is it? Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> it's normal for us, isn't it? Normal for us junk journalists, but it's probably not normal for other people. Other normal people who are not in the junk journal world, they would not get that wanting to even, well, you know, even questioning, shall I keep this? They'd be like, what is wrong with you? Of course you wouldn't keep that. So I've got these little flower um, diamante trims here, which are very pretty, aren't they? And I mean, to me, these feel like they're a little bit kind of too um, special and blingy, really, to put with nature kind of themed things, which, you know, to me, this feels nature themed now that I've got the bird on there. But that being said, you know, there's no reason why you couldn't have something like that. I mean, it looks pretty, doesn't it? And it does kind of you know, just upgrades it to something a little bit more special. So just take those two flowers and, woo dear, put that down there. And then I'm just going to see now if actually we might want to have one here on like that little faux postage stamp. So, and obviously these faux postage stamps, I mean, I have done a tutorial on these, um, a video, it was a long time ago now. Um, but yeah, it's probably in my random, random process videos, uh, playlist, I would imagine. So yeah. Do we need the flower on there? It kind of does tie the two, you know, the two sections in, doesn't it? I'm not sure. Uh, I mean, to be honest. Oh, let's just have it there, shall we? So yeah. Okay, so that looks very pretty. And then I'm just thinking, do we want a little bow on here as well? I know, I just never know when to stop. It's kind of like, oh, what more can we add on there? So we could have a little bow right down the bottom. Or right at the top. Or on the top of the postage stamp, or on the bottom of the postage stamp, or... Oh, let's have it there. Okay. Oh, how pretty does that look? So that's just your little pocket. And again, you know, I would probably have this as a side loading pocket, not a top loading pocket. So, you know, you might want to, again, just check your sides are kind of like snugly glued down here on the side, you know, just for that kind of your pieces catching when you're tucking them in. So, you know, if you've got anywhere that needs a little bit of, you know, reinforcing or sticking down, just, you know, you could go along and stick that down. The other alternative that you could do um, is you could obviously reinforce, or not reinforce, but cover this on the back, for instance, here. So you could put another piece of card against there, glue the whole thing down and cut the whole thing snugly. Now, obviously this is now not see-through because it's got the card behind. But it still looks quite pretty, doesn't it? And, you know, obviously, depending on what you used, you could then mix it up and make it kind of a contrasting piece. So, for instance, here, if you put brown down behind that, I mean, that actually, you know, is another different look again, isn't it? So, 
you know, they're quite a sort of endless um, possibilities option, aren't they? Because there's all sorts of different things that you could do with that. I mean, I actually think that looks really nice with the brown. And actually, in some ways, yeah, in some ways, I kind of almost like that more. So perhaps I will do that. And I've just seen that I've got one of my little butterfly edge strips, which oh, I'm not sure that's quite right, but... I was kind of thinking, oh, perhaps we could have the butterfly edge strip on there as well, but it's perhaps a little bit on the big side. Well, I guess we could we could tear it down a bit. So let's just tear that down slightly. Oh, there we go. That that looks really pretty, doesn't it? So I'm just going to do that so that we've got a different a different piece there. So yeah, this is obviously something I was using for the mass making. So I'm just going to cut this out like that just so that I've got the the plain piece left so let's open this up okay. just tear that down and then yeah I just want to obviously glue this on now it doesn't have to go kind of completely all over obviously my piece is not big enough um but just you know covering kind of the bulk of it so just going to take that down there so that I see roughly where I need to put the glue okay so just going to again just touch up any bits that need a bit of extra helping hand okay so that looks pretty good let's move that out of the way and then just going to go all over this with the with the fabric tack so I want to have this side because this one's got some weird kind of like peachy colours patches going on, which is, you know, not great. So, yeah, let's just glue this down. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to glue it down all over. I'm going to glue it down around the edges. So hopefully it's kind of loose where the lace is. So I'm then going to go just over the frame part or the edge of the frame part where that lace is like that. So I've got round the edge of the actual piece itself and round the edge of the frame of the lace. And then place that down like that, okay. Take my wipe and then just press that down. So it's actually technically kind of not glued onto that lace, which hopefully will keep the lace so it's got a kind of bit of a free sort of feel to it. But it's also, you know, giving it a pretty kind of background colour by having the brown kind of through. So glue that one down like that. Okay. How pretty does that look? Love, love, love how that looks. Could even use that as a little, you know, flap. So you could have this as a little foldy piece. I'm not going to do that um, because it's quite a heavy pocket now and I just don't feel like that's really strong enough to hold it. But if you'd used something thicker or if you wanted to, you know, reinforce that that piece with another piece of paper or something, you could do that. So pop that down there and then just take my walnut stain and just ink around this a little bit because obviously it's quite white at the moment. Okay. Because this is quite a grungy looking piece, so I just wanted to grunge that up as well. <gasps> How pretty does that look? It's really cute, isn't it? So, just going to pop a little bit of glue on here, just because I think this has just been stapled down. And I feel like it's, you know, it's not really held down very well. So, I think probably I was intending on taking that to the sewing machine and stitching it. And obviously, you know, just never got round to that. So like, like that, okay? And then that can just stitch or stick onto that edge piece. So just go across there like that, okay? And just pop that down. Oh, how pretty does that look? And actually my butterfly still got its flapping wings, so that's all good as well. So a bit of a just different look there because you've got obviously that pretty brown background which, you know, it all just kind of adds to the, um, you know, the effect, doesn't it? By having kind of just these different bits. Just going to see how this would look with a little bit of bling there in my butterfly. 
you know, on the body, the body of the butterfly. Oops. Now that's been stapled on, so unfortunately that staple is, you know, causing a slight rocking effect to be going on, but hopefully once that's glued down that would be okay. Okay, like that. How pretty does that look? And then, you know, you could, if you wanted, put a label or something on there as well. So I'll just see what labels I've got here. So, oh, here we go. Oh, how pretty does that look? So I think that's just a label from my labels set two, I think. Could be label set one, so I do apologise. Um, but we just ink that up a little tiny bit. Okay. And that can just go in that corner. It's again, just tying in kind of the colours, isn't it? So, yeah, hot glue that one, just over there in that corner. Oh, how scrummy does that look? Super pretty. And you'll see, you know, I haven't stitched around any of these or anything like that. But of course, you know, before you glued anything on, you could have taken this to the sewing machine and stitched around your lace. And that would be another reinforcement kind of, um, you know, stage, I suppose that you, you know, you might want to do. Um, but yeah, really, really, really pretty, aren't they? And just another sort of, um, you know, way to use your lace and things like that and make some just yummy, yummy pieces for your junk journals. So yeah, that is day four's little idea, is the little lace pocket window um, pocket envelopes, uh, not envelopes, pockets. Um, yeah, really, really pretty. So yep, we've only got two more days to go. We have got... We have got this much lace left to use. So yeah, I need to kind of think, do I want to kind of just go for it or do I want to, <laughs> to be a bit more frugal? Need to really, I think, plan the next two days videos before I film one and then decide I've got no lace left or I've got loads of lace left that I don't know what to do with. Um, but yeah, I really hope that you're enjoying the series. I really hope that you're having a lot of fun if you're crafting along. Um, you know, please share like on the Facebook group or on Instagram or anything, anything that you're making. Um, and yeah, just have, have a lot of fun with it. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day, everyone. Thanks then. Bye.